This video presents STARMAC, the Stanford Testbed of Autonomous Rotorcraft for Multi-Agent Control. The testbed is comprised of six quadrotor helicopters, two of which are shown here doing autonomous hover using GPS. Experimental applications for this testbed range from decentralized collision avoidance to autonomous search and rescue with a team of aircraft to studying the interactions between humans and autonomous systems. This aircraft design has evolved from many flight tests. The sensor suite for every vehicle includes a GPS unit to sense the position, an ultrasonic ranger to sense the distance to the ground, and an inertial measurement unit to sense the acceleration and the rotation of the vehicle. Additional sensors that can currently be carried in order to perceive the environment include cameras with both monocular and stereo vision, LiDAR range detectors, and avalanche rescue beacon receivers. The vehicles are controlled in real time using a microprocessor to control the high rate dynamics and using a high-level control computer to perform optimizations. The quadrotor is controlled by varying the relative speed of the motors. For instance, the roll torque is controlled by decreasing the speed of the left rotor and increasing the speed of the right rotor. Yaw is controlled by varying the relative speed of counter-rotating rotors. Vehicle position is controlled by varying the total thrust and vehicle orientation. So that was the theory. But when we tried using this for control system design, we found out that there were aerodynamic effects that we weren't accounting for. By modeling these aerodynamic effects, we designed controllers that reject these disturbances. The resulting control system design uses feedback on angular acceleration and linear acceleration. As you can see, it's very capable of rejecting disturbances. The vehicle shown here is an autonomous hover using position data from an overhead camera system that does blob tracking to replace GPS indoors. Using this system, multiple aircraft are able to fly autonomously, safely, and accurately in this confined environment. Now, of course, sometimes the opportunity for more rigorous disturbance rejection testing arises. The vehicle is controlled here by a human pilot issuing attitude angle commands using a joystick. The Starmac quadrotor helicopters are able to track rapidly varying attitude commands, as well as fly at reasonable speeds, with a root mean square error of less than one degree. This omnidirectional aircraft has the capability to rotate to face any direction while in flight. This feature makes it easier to use sensors with a limited field of view. Here, a human pilot is actually controlling the attitude angles of the aircraft by issuing commands that rotate onto the body coordinate frame. With the use of carrier phase differential GPS outdoors, the position can be maintained with approximately 50 centimeters of root mean square error as shown here. We performed obstacle avoidance experiments where the vehicles were required to fly around the boxes and not over them. During this test, the aircraft inadvertently blundered into a box, demonstrating the safety and robustness of the aircraft design. Here, an experiment using tunnel MILP is shown. The aircraft must navigate from the right side of the field to the left side of the field. To solve this obstacle avoidance problem, tunnel MILP first finds the shortest path to the goal. Then, it forms a tunnel around this path and formulates a mixed integer linear program to fly the vehicle through this path under dynamic constraints optimally. Next is a demonstration of a decentralized collision avoidance problem. The three vehicles negotiate deconflicted trajectories using a Nash bargaining cost metric. Their initially conflicting paths to cross the field are resolved. In order to track other vehicles without using GPS and in order to perceive the environment, we are beginning to use a camera system. The camera provides high resolution, high frame rate images directly to the PC-104 on board the aircraft. One current goal for the testbed is to actively seek information using information theoretic control. This will involve pivoting the camera around and moving the entire aircraft in order to gain a better perspective of whatever the vehicle is trying to learn about. We're currently working to implement automated search and rescue using avalanche rescue beacon transceivers and a team of aircraft. The vehicles communicate their observations with one another over wireless and track the target's location using a Monte Carlo method called particle filtering. The vehicles are able to actively seek information using an information theoretic control law to quickly and accurately localize the target. In conclusion, the Starmex system has provided a testbed with which we can strive to push the limits of autonomy.